So this is uh, a new kind of kidney dialyzer. This is the bit on the machine that cleans the blood that we throw away after each treatment. And these haven't really changed very much in the last couple of decades. Now, how big the holes are in the dialyzer determines how many of the waste products get taken out. But if you make the, the holes too big, you lose all the good stuff, as well as getting rid of all of the bad stuff. These Theranova dialyzers have very precisely made holes that allows them on average to be bigger, but to still keep the good stuff in. So now we're able to clear the size of chemicals that we've not been able to de deal with before. And the prospect of this study was to see, does that actually make people feel better? You're hoping that it would get rid of some of this your, first, your day of dialysis symptoms, plus your appetite was down, and uh, I was steadily losing weight. But uh, you were hoping some of this other stuff would go away. That you, first thing you hope that you would sleep better. By expanding dialysis, you're expanding the range of sizes of chemicals that you can take out. And the ones that are becoming accessible to us now are chemicals that we know are important in inflammation, in malnutrition, in wasting. So we've not been able to get at those treatments, but those, those chemicals before with our conventional treatment. We can expand dialysis by just doing a lot more of it, but that's obviously a price that patients have to pay with a lot more treatment time. This allows us to increase the range of clearance, but do it within a conventional envelope. And the treatment, as far as the patient's concerned, subjectively is identical to the one they had before. Started to feel better that way. Uh, I was eating a little better. And my sleep, it wasn't great, but it was way better. People have been able to walk their dogs when they haven't been able to walk their dogs. They've been able to play with grandchildren when normally they wouldn't have the energy to be able to do that. And in some cases, we've had people who've either been able to return to work, or more commonly, spouses or carers that normally feel very um, tethered to helping these patients, they've felt confident enough to be contributory to society and live broader lives.